Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable. Today we're going to be talking about every horse person's favourite movie, Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron, and of course the 2002 version. Wherever a game has horses, it can be guaranteed there are spirit content. Well, today I want to add to that by looking at what horses in Star Stable you can use in your recreations and or roleplays. But first, a word from our very kind sponsor for this segment of the video. Opera GX is a browser built specifically for gamers. It has lots of features that are super useful even for Star Stable, including being on mobile. Using the flow feature means they can also be directly connected, making it the perfect way for me to transfer and post Instagram photos and more. The browser also has lots of customization, including animated wallpapers. It is one of my favorite things to play around with. These also run smoothly in the background. I also love how easy switching is from other browsers with the quick import tool. You can import all of your settings with the click of a button. And Opera GX also has Google Chrome extensions, which means I can keep all of them as well. The link to download Opera GX is in the description and the pinned comment. So many of you have come to me saying that you have downloaded it because of me and I am just so glad you guys have been enjoying it too. But let's go ahead and jump back into the video. I think we will go ahead and start with Spirit's parents, Esperanza and Strider, because without them, well there would be no Spirit. Before people attack me in the comments over these though, I have my reasons for and against every horse in Star Stable for this little list, and if I was to explain why I didn't include every specific horse, this video would be forever long. These are my own personal preferences, the markings are obviously not going to be perfect on every horse, and neither the breed or even the colouring, sometimes literally like nothing at all, sometimes it's just the vibes, I don't know what to tell you. Even if I say all of this though, there will still be comments, so I guess we'll just jump into the video. Esperanza, Spirit's mother, is a Palomino Kaiga Mustang. She's also a Donnellino, meaning she carries the Dun gene. Unfortunately, we don't have this exact combination in Star Stable, so here are some potential horses you could use instead. This one was weirdly hard. I don't know. I guess I was just trying to be like specific about it. I don't know. <laughs> The Lusitano has a kind of similar coat color to Esperanza. I feel like I've seen this horse used in an inner spirit recreation before. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Lusitano is a little bit too saturated for the pale Palomino of Esperanza, but it does have that creamish mane, which is one thing I was looking for. This horse is also a pretty old Generation 3 horse. Generation 3 means the type of program Star Stable used for the horse's creation, if you are confused. At least that's my understanding of it. The Lusitano is one of these older Gen 3 horses, so it looks a tad bit crustier than the newer Gen 3 horses. If you own or like this horse though, it can be an Esperanza in my books. I personally love the American Quarter Horses, but I do have to agree that the model of this horse doesn't really reflect the Kaiga Mustangs in spirit. It has also been animated to hang its head, which makes the resemblance hard to see, but once again, the coat colour is a saturated palomino with a creamish mane. I found while scrolling through the horses that most of the pale palominos had whiter manes, or I didn't like the model. So this was one of the best horses I could go with, even if I'm, even I'm still a little bit reluctant on this one. Am I losing my voice? I don't know. <laughs> this horse isn't the greatest replica of Esperanza's coat, but nevertheless, I love this coat and I feel like I can totally see Esperanza being this horse in Star Stable. Compared to the previous horses, the mane is definitely too dark for her and the coat doesn't have the warmer undertone. You might not agree with me on this horse if you're a hardcore, true to the movie fan, then you might really want the yellowish Palomino, but I personally, once again, getting Esperanza vibes from this horse. I don't know what to tell you. Excuse my terrible technical coat colors. At this point, I give up because every time I even like literally try so hard, I still don't succeed. I give up. This is my formal resignation. I'm not bothering with coat colors anymore. I give up. <laughs> Strider is Spirit's father. He's also a Kaiga Mustang. Since he is a black horse, there are a few coats and breeds I think might work in his favor. I feel like the end illusion might be a little bit too dainty compared to drawings we have of Strider, but I love the end illusions and also how it has like no markings, just like Strider. Since it is also a popular breed, this horse might be one you already have in your home stable. I really 
really like the model of this horse for Strider, at least as much as you can for not being an actual Kygo Mustang. Unfortunately though, the Belgian Warmblood does have markings, but overall I think the Belgian horse's models and animations were also just done really well as they are in your release on, on Star Stable. I just really like them. Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out on this one. I know it's a limited time, which is something I was trying to avoid, but something about how like strong this Shire looks just drew me directly to it. I imagine Strider as like a strong horse and Shires being draft horses definitely get that across. I know, I know, Strider wasn't a draft horse, but this Shire is also one of the only horses I found which has no markings. The app Aquatech also doesn't have markings, but the Aquatech looks too dainty for the main photo I was looking at for Strider. Just by, I don't know, I thought I'd throw this one in there. <laughs> if I am being honest, I don't think even the Mustang breeds in Star Stable match the vibes of Spirit's parents. So even if I wanted to go with the Generation 2 courses, I'm not sure if I would have gotten the vibes anyways. I need to stop saying vibes. <laughs> Fun fact, when I was younger, I used to come home from school and watch Spirit every single afternoon. It was on our little box TV in the front sitting room. Before, you know, any of the flat screen TVs came out, it was like the smallest, my monitor right now is bigger than that TV. <laughs> oh, the days before streaming services. Let's go ahead and move on to the foals. I thought it'd be cute to include these little buddies in the video. Obviously the foals are just that, foals, but I can see them being portrayed as adults using the Belgian war blood. I know, it's kind of cute. The Gotlands are a smaller horse which I can see being pulled off as foals, possibly. Hey, come on, we have to be creative if we aren't given actual foals. I feel like the Gotland Pony also has that cheeky little personality showing through in their gates a bit. I love how there is a little marking on the head which is similar but much, much smaller than the foals in the movie. I think this ashier and illusion works well for the foals in a way because they have this very light unsaturated brown coat which other horses haven't really captured either i don't know their coat color is just like difficult in star stable to find i suppose fun fact when i was in high school as part of the film class i actually chose spirit stallion of the cimarron 2002 to write an essay for we love an excuse to watch it again now is the moment everyone has possibly been waiting for. Spirit and Rain. Obviously, Star Stable partnered with DreamWorks Spirit Riding Free to bring a spirit to Star Stable in 2017 already. This was part of a whole quest where at the end you could buy a special apple for Spirit and own him. He would be moved into your stable at level 15 already, but he cannot wear tack and his name cannot be changed alongside his main entail. This offer has already expired though, so if you do have Spirit in your stable, which I unfortunately could not afford at the time, he is a great option for you to use. However, I wanted to include some options of horses which are still available and also Generation 3. The quote unquote real Spirit is a Generation 2 Mustang model, and since this was a special collaboration, I can't say for sure whether we would actually get a Spirit coat with Gen 3 Mustangs whenever they come, depending on what contract Star Stable may or may not have signed. I don't know. I'm not like a lawyer. <laughs> I don't know. Bro, I'm a YouTuber, like what do I know? <laughs> this horse is definitely dainty, as I said before, but I feel like the coat color is there. I didn't look too deeply at the markings, but I can see her spirit resemblance. Just like the Esperanza, I know this coat color is way, 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 way too pale. In fact, I feel like in a way, it's just not iconic enough to be used as a spirit coat. Like, he is yellow. That's what is special about him. But when I first saw this horse when it came out, I have no idea why. It just gave me a little bit of spirit vibe, so I thought I would include it on the list anyways. This horse is one of my favorite end illusions. It is from the Jorvik Open House or the Equestrian Festival, as it is now called, and I feel like the end illusion doesn't really match the model of spirit. But the coat color is there, and I just love this horse. Can you see how biased this list is? <laughs> there has weirdly been a lot of Belgian Warmbloods on the list. I think they're just a really good horse model. They kind of fit anything. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you don't see my vision. This coat color is once again very subtle compared to the real spirit. But if you wanted something su subtler, <laughs> then here we go. Mini spirit! <clears throat> Sorry? 
This could potentially be used as a foal of spirit. I feel like the Welsh pony could have been a good foal, but they just don't have a very similar coat to spirit at all. Although the Gotland is still way too pale for the movie foal. It is here on this list. I deal with it. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but there have also been a lot of speciality horses on this list. Like, if there isn't the horse breed in Star Staple, a warm blood is probably the way to go, not a speciality horse. Anyways, unfortunately the coat colors drew us in this direction. Even this isn't quite the signature yellow though, but hey, if you make Esperanza the Lusitano model, then it could be Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron Lusitano Edition. I am writing this when it is rather late, so there is probably going to be some pretty bad commentary here. I'm also just feeling like this video is so difficult to make, I feel like just giving up on it because there isn't the perfect horse for the horses in Spirit. So I'm really hoping you guys have a good imagination and some leniency on me. Is it the right word? Anyways. Moving on to Rain, we actually only have two coat options for this one. When the paint horses were released, the one on the app looked super, super similar to the real Rain. Therefore, a lot of people bought this horse, calling her Rain. However, some people, for whatever reason, may or may not have access to the Star Stable Horses app. So, my alternative is this other paint horse. I know the coloring is not the same shades, and the mane is not the right color either. I still feel like there are definite rain vibes there in my own personal opinion i don't really like any of the other options of paint horses as, as the shading isn't right the mane and also the size of the horses they are really giving rain vibes especially since the app horse kind of stole the light for this one being a generation 3 horse she's also not crusty at all that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know whether you are going to be using any of these horses in maybe a roleplay and star stable on YouTube in your own time. Let me know if you want to see more videos just like this one, maybe recreating some other horse movies, maybe even books. I don't know. Does anyone else sometimes wonder whether Spirit is actually a good movie? Or was I just a child in search of horses? I thought the same thing about the Saddle Club a few months ago, and I am happy to confirm that at least the first two seasons, no shade to the third, <laughs> of the Saddle Club are still good and not too weird. Ahem, <clears throat> free reign. <laughs> That's some tea for another time. If you did enjoy this style of video, then you might go ahead and enjoy my top 10 most expensive horses video that I made a few months ago, talking about whether I think the most expensive horses are worth your star coins, whether you should buy them, or whether you should wait, like the Mustangs are 950 star coins. For why? Wait, have they discounted now? I can't remember. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.